I guess I'll bring that over. What is going on crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors, some of the most loved ones and most well-known on YouTube. So that's what you're gonna be seeing in today's video with some new additions also. All of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the channel and make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from the channel. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. What's going on guys? Dr. Scott here of LifeSpring Chiropractic in Austin, Texas. And today we're here with Jacqueline. And Jacqueline is a massage therapist literally right around the corner down the street. So I'll have her explain a little bit of uh, what she's got going on and what brings her in for an adjustment today. Um, so yeah, I just have a lot of neck pain on my left side and kind of through my jaw and all down through my scapula. And it's been bothering me for like years and I haven't done years. anything years. <laughs> about it. Mm -hmm. so. Was it the right heel? I'm sorry, the right leg is shorter than the left leg by about an inch. And then when I bring them up, they get even. So if you guys have been watching our videos, you know what this means. This means that the right part of the pelvis, the right ilium is rocked backwards because when this rocks backwards, it actually causes the leg to come up like this. So it isn't the actual leg, it's the pelvis. Do this. Yeah, so let me have you lay on your side facing me this way, please. Cool. You can rest your head right up there. Nice. And I'll have you bend this top leg for me, bottom one straight. And I'm gonna steal this from you a little bit. Is this kind of like the position you remember when you're getting adjusted? Yeah. Bring back the old memories. Good, right there. Cool. So this way I just contact right inside here. And I just help bring that over. That's wow. Beautiful. Oh, okay. Been a while, huh? <laughs> yeah. Is that kind of what you expected? Is that kind of what you expected? A little different, or? It, it's like intense, but like a good way. Nice. Cool. So now right away, oh, it doesn't get much better than that. So perfectly even, and we're staying even. And actually, when I go like this. Does it feel a little bit less pinchy? Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, because remember you were saying it was pinchy mm -hmm. before. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool, so let's do that right in there. Now, so you can relax your head, and I'm just gonna kind of bring it over like this. Oh. Yes, an almost instant <laughs> relief, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. And that's where we've been seeing a lot of people having discomfort, right? Is that here because of sitting at desks and sitting at a, we're looking down at cell phones, creating a lot of tension inside here. Mm -hmm. And we even take that one step further by, yeah, right there. Let's have you turn over so your face up, please. Cool. And then when you curl up your arms, isn't tight like this? Nice. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna roll you over this way. And get right on those. Yeah, right, yeah, good. Big breath in. And then all the way out. There we go, perfect. And then you can relax your hands down your stomach for me. And now we want to feel the upper part of the neck, because one of the things we did prior was we did different ranges of motions in her inner neck to see how it was moving and where it was stuck. And what we noticed for you was both times turning to the right was more difficult, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. You said you still feel like it's going to the right side or like moving to the right side? Mm-hmm. And then you're, yeah. That's like going this yeah. way, correct? Yeah. yeah. And then you get like kind of like a pull or like mm -hmm. a, a tension over strain, here. Strain, yeah. Strain, yep. Yeah. So we'll adjust the neck first and then we'll recheck the jaw to see if the jaw actually needs to be adjusted or not. Because about 90, 80 to 90% of the time when someone has jaw issues, it's not actually the jaw, it's mm -hmm. really the upper neck. Because mm -hmm. the nerves in the upper neck control a lot of the different muscles that, um, that, you know, that control the jaw. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So first C2 right in there. Cool, so just relax your head. I'm just gonna bring your head right there. 
Good, we'll actually have you relax your left shoulder too. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. First neck adjustment in so long. Yeah. <laughs> Good, and this one just needs to go up. You're gonna relax that right shoulder again. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. And even a slight little tug like this. Just help decompress. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, Feel a little taller? Yeah. How would you describe that one? I just, it's an experience. I really needed that. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's... Nice. And then so have you slowly open your jaw and then close it. Cool. So I'm going to pretty much just contact the jaw right inside here. I'm going to kind of bring your head over the side and then as you slowly open, I just kind of bring it down. Sometimes it makes a pop sound, sometimes it doesn't, but we just want to be able to change the biomechanics or the actual movement so it can start to function correctly. Okay. Does that sound cool? Wait, so I open my jaw? Yeah, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll walk you through it, okay. yeah. Make sure your hair is looking good in there. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so right there. So I'm going to kind of just contact that. I'm going to bring your head over to the side and kind of look up a little bit more. There we go. And I want you to slowly open your jaw. Good. Good. And then straight. Perfect. A little bit weird, huh? It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> it's a weird. What's a way of saying weird nicely? It's been yeah. And then open. Yeah. So that feels a lot more smooth on mm -hmm. each side for me. How's that feel to you? It does. So you might still feel a little bit of strain mm -hmm. over here because it's been like this for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. But now, as you start to move your jaw through chewing or through talking, it's going to actually change how the muscles are going to start to function mm -hmm. too. So let me do this. Let me have you take a seat and face the doorway for me. Right over here. Good. That actually looks really even right now. Good. And I just want you to look up about 45 degrees. Good. I just want you to stay right there for me. And I'm just going to use my little gun right here called an arthrostim. And this basically helps you hold this adjustment for a longer time than without using this. So if you had to explain this experience to anyone watching that's never been adjusted before or is just hesitant about getting adjusted, what would you say to that person? <laughs> it's pretty life changing. <laughs> you feel like a different person at like a, yeah, I feel different. And Up next, we have Dr. Doug Willen. I'm going to come into this spot. This is C2 on the right side. <laughs> nice. I've been that was, needing that. That was pretty good, <laughs> Since right? <forever. laughs> so now lie face down. You're going to turn over onto your belly. So I'm going to do a little bit in here. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Lie on your side facing me this way, please. So far okay? Yes. Okay. Do you skateboard everywhere you go? Not really. Just like cruise. Yeah. When I get the chance. So I'm going to adjust this now, okay? Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a little locked up so let me just try one more big breath in and blow it out that one. Ooh, wow. I didn't want to leave that one in there because <laughs> I thought that one was still tight come stand and see how you feel I have really bad posture and I'm always like this I have like the half no feel like a posture, to change your posture, you can't do it all in one day. You just have to keep reminding yourself and little by little it changes. Here. Breathe.
No, trap. Got it. Area, and I'm gonna just come in and tilt a little bit. So drop that SCM muscle. You don't wanna lift it. Drop it again. Oh, yeah. So I know it makes a scary noise, but it feels good too, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. You can breathe. There's a, more to this. So now I'm gonna have you move closer to me. Look this way with your face, all the way that way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Did you hear it pop? I did. Come this way. I'm gonna put my hand through like this, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. You heard that one, right? A little more. See how you feel. And try to touch your toes again. See if it's a little looser. There you go. You can put your palms down now. Yep. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.